Water rights, I went to the Omega Water for Life conference uh, seven years ago, saw Winona Hauter um, and uh, had an amazing epiphany, and that was that our water is our commons, and uh, that our commons is something given to us. When did you first become impassioned to start organizing an event like this? I just saw Gasland. It was that simple. Gasland is a huge entry point for tons of people and it wasn't anything special. I went to see Gasland on October 9th um, when Josh was on his original grassroots tour at Lafayette College. I missed it at the Southside Film Festival actually, at which point I read that there were people in Pennsylvania who could, strangely enough, light their water on fire and it was such a horrifying concept. It burns clean, it's beautiful, uh, and the only problem is taking it out of the ground kills the earth kills the mother, uh, puts in 300 kinds of chemicals, benzene and toluene, strontium and borium, killer toxic chemicals that will give you brain damage at reduced amounts. This is not a joke. And it turns out that it's going a mile down, but they're exploding subnuclear explosions to send it a mile back up into the water table. No surprise. Goofballs. They have super science, but they don't have care for the earth. If you live in Lehigh Valley, um, I run a small grassroots organization uh, dedicated to uh, uh, fracking issues and advocacy, especially uh, advocating for a lot of people in Pennsylvania and beyond in the Marcellus Shale who are currently living without water, uh, which is very painful. Um, but if, if you live anywhere, since this is going to go viral, please go to um, gaslandthemovie.com. Uh, and, uh, find the find the Facebook page for Gasland. Uh, uh, you can go from there, and and there's a whole community of people and, and local organizations. And if you live in Lehigh Valley, uh, please email me uh, Julie at SafeWaterSociety.org, and I can get you on my list, and we'll talk about how you can get involved.